Rocky Horror Show centers around Brad and Janet, who are on their way back from a wedding when their car breaks down. They find a spooky mansion to seek shelter and find all kinds of eccentric tenants, including a few transvestites. For having such a zany plot, the show has fairly humble beginnings. Richard O'Brien, who is the um, author of the script, um, wrote it in the 70s, who's an out-of-work actor, um, created the script, came up with it to keep himself occupied, and his obsessions were those old science fiction movies, um, camp B movies. Um, he was also obsessed with Steve Reeves movies, which are the, the muscle man flex, and uh, really, really with 50s rock and roll. So he managed to create a script that was a combination of all of those. Rocky Horror opened for the first time in 1973. Maybe the reason it's been so well loved for so long is because it's not quite like any other play you've ever seen. It's about freedom. Um, not only freedom of speech or freedom of dressing the way you want to dress. So everybody experiences something different from it, but I think that they relate to it because of the freedom within it. On top of that, the audience doesn't just sit and watch. They're encouraged to bring props to use during different parts of the show and have lines to say as well. The audience really is the missing character. And uh, it changes night to night. Every audience is different. But I think that's part of the fun of... Um, the Rocky Horror Show is because the audience is so involved. Bobby Glenn Brown found this out the first time he saw the play in the late 70s. Since then, he's played Dr. Frankenfurter in Rocky Horror Show a whopping 13 times. He hopes that if the Vista ever brings the show back, he could have the honor of directing. For ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Caitlin Conan.